Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have Return of the Deep Sea Chamber 10 million. And today's mission is test different food items. What happens to food when you put it two miles under the water and bring it back up? I think first we are going to test regular apple. Apple. I think uh, this should shrink when you compress it because there is some air inside of the apple. It's not completely solid and liquid. And if you haven't seen this before, the idea is really simple. We fill it with water, then compress the whole system using the hydraulic press and extra cylinder and piston. And we can go up to 300 bars, which equals three kilometer or two miles. In goes the apple. Okay, everything is ready. And since I have 80 millimeter cylinder, I have to use 120 bars of pressure on the press, which equals 15 tons, which equals 300 bars here. And also I have the pressure meter. Yeah, and the, uh, one camera is filming the apple, so you can see what happens. I don't see, I go blind. Okay, here we go. Okay, how much was it? It was 270 bars. And the apple looks pretty fine. I'm not sure what happened during the thing. I think I'm, I'm going to have a look on the replay. I want to also see did anything happen. And then we are going to open the thing and taste the apple. Okay, and this is not uh, exactly the food grade system, but I'm going to risk it all in the name of science, and I'm going to taste this. Mm. I'm going to say that it tastes and feels a bit like, bit like it has like been in some kind of bag and it has been mishandled, like it's been like, a, it's like it's crushed slightly. Like if you drop the apple, the uh, apple from the point where it has impacted the ground, it, it's somehow a bit different. I think the whole apple is now like that. But it's a not huge difference. Uh, I think I'm going to put potato chips next. Okay, then the potato chips. And I think the pack is going to go really small. It's really small volume. And now we don't have so much air bubbles on the system, which is always good. Okay, I saw from the camera screen that there was definitely some movement this time. Is the pack broken? I'm not sure. Let's open it. Now it was close to 300 bars. I'm not sure did we destroy the pack, but we are going to have a look. Okay, here we go. The pack is still okay. Yeah, it's like uh, really small pieces now. But I think the pack held. So as long you have like dry food inside of the pack and the pack doesn't burst, I think the food stays relatively the same. 
Yeah, this is really fine. Really fine like powder. Most of this. But taste just normal. Only the texture has changed. Okay, now I have some crackers. Okay, that looks funny. That looks really funny. Yeah, this is great. Okay, here it comes. Uh, it's ripped now. There are like waves. And the uh, stuff inside is definitely changed. Okay, it's a bit similar to the potato chips, but uh, there's also some bigger clumps. I think I'm going to taste this one. This is really dry. This is definitely worse now. Ugh. I think that all of the air inside of this is uh, pushed out. So it's now really dense snack. Okay, and then chocolate candies on an uh, airtight pack. So the pack is going to crush the candies, just like on the crackers. And the candies, they are a bit crunchy, so I think they have some air inside of them. And I'm familiar with the candy, so I can uh, like report on the difference that we make. Okay, we had enough stroke on the cylinder and the pack seems to be still okay, so let's pop this open. Okay, here are the candies. The candies are, they are definitely smaller than normal and they are in one big clump. And now, time to taste. Mm. I say that there is no difference on the taste or texture. I'm not even sure are they smaller. I would say that they're maybe 5 to 10 percent smaller if you can be so precise with the candy size. I, I would say that they are slightly smaller. Or at least like crushed shape. Okay, then the next one. Uh, two sandwiches inside of the mini grip bag. And this is also a test for the mini grip pack seal. Can it take 300 bars? Uh, definitely not designed for this, but I think it's, it's going to take it just fine because the higher the pressure, the higher the force pushing the uh, two seals together. So I think the uh, sandwiches are going to be dry, but uh, what else is going to happen to them? That's, that's, that's the question. Okay, here we go. Okay, I have no idea what happened. Seems that the sandwiches are still dry, maybe. Let's open this. Okay. 
What happened? What happened to the sandwiches? Okay. They are wet. I would say that they're not completely wet. They're like moist. I'm going to, <laughs> and they are really thin. No, yeah, it's like, it's the same thing as with the crackers. They are really dense. I think the mini grip pack didn't actually leak much at all. Yeah, this is wet from inside. It leaked some amount. I'm not sure how much. Yeah, but if you have ideas what should I should put here, please let me know. And I can uh, give a teaser about the next deep sea chamber video that I have. I have these 3D printed mini submarines that I'm going to implode there. So subscribe to see this. And yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.